so the today we are going to talk about the evaluation of mr okay so how we are going to evaluate our results of mr run okay so in this we will try to understand what is the stock requirement list and what is mr list so let us start with the stock requirement list that is md04 and md05 okay so as we understand from last two many days okay So if you remember, whenever we take MRP run for any material, okay, we go to this transaction code MD04. Okay. Here you can see stock requirement list, right? So this is a stock requirement list to talk about the what is happening currently in the system. Okay. All the details are available here. And along with that, there is another keyboard slash MD05 slash O md05 which is called as the called as the mrp list okay so this is stock requirement list this is stock requirement list and this is mrp list so what is the difference between them okay so what is the difference between md05 and md04 that we are going to understand now okay so first of all let us understand stock requirement list stock requirement list md04 is called as a dynamic Okay. So dynamic. Why it is called as a dynamic? And MD05 is going to be a your static list. Okay. So let us understand this. So stock requirement list MD04. So let me show you. This is your MD04. Here it is called as a dynamic because whatever changes are going to happen in system. Those are going to be captured by this here immediately. Okay, let me go back slash MD04. Okay, and let me take material. We have created the material, right? Laptop, B1556. Okay, so well, this is my material. Okay, I don't want to go for a process. Let's go with the laptop, B1556. Okay, so this is our stock requirement list. Okay, now suppose I am going to change the this is the plan order that there. Okay, so let me go. Oh, I cannot go further because it's, it's again slash MD0. So let me use B14 only. Okay, now here you can see there are a lot of things are available over here. Okay, now let me do one thing. Let me change the demand. How we can change the demand? The T code is MD61. Okay, MD62, we can use or we can go and say the font. Okay, so here 13,000 is there. I'm making 18,000. Here is 12,000. Let me make it as 16,000. This 11,000. Let me make it 17,000. Something like that. Okay, so this much changes I'm making. I'll save it. Once I save it and I refresh over here, you can see the demand has been updated 18,000, 17,000, 16,000. Okay. So, whatever changes we are going to make, it will be going to be updated over here immediately. So, this is a dynamic screen. Changes will get updated very fast. Okay. Suppose if I go to Metal Master, okay, slash MM02 and change the safety stop. Okay. So, this material instead of sorry, MRP2 view. Instead of 500, let it make it 1000. So, this is 500. Can you see? Let me make it 1000 and save it. When I change these changes, say, see here, the things is going to update here also, and it is going to change your calculation. See, calculation has, has been changed because earlier 13,500 was there, here was 500 quantity. Now it has been changed. Okay. So, whatever changes you are going to make in system, it is going to update over here. Now, suppose this is your production order. Okay. Let me go and did it mark this production order as not relevant now. Okay. More function rest processing complete technically and save it. Okay. I'll just mark this production order. Let me do for this also. Okay. More function environment function rest processing complete technically. 
So I'm making some changes in this production order. And you, if you just refresh this, you can see those have been gone. No more production order here. And calculation is changed immediately because production order has been removed. Okay. So can you read over here? Here, if you can see the time, 6.7 hours. Okay. So what is the live time? It is updating over here. So this is called as a live system or dynamic report. Clear? Do you understand what is mean by dynamic report? And dynamic, why I'm saying it is? Everyone? Are we clear what is MD04 stands for? Stock request. Yes. Okay. Now, yes, sir. let us go to MD05 in the same case. Okay. This is material. Okay. MD04, B14. Okay. So let me go for same material here. Okay. And to make it changes from here. Okay. Now for this material here. So I have to go to MD05. Mm -hmm. Okay, B14, enter. Now can you see? Safety stock is not changed. It is not updated over here. The requirement is still not updated over here. What is this? This is the last MRP run happens on 19 July. Okay. So after that, there is no change happen in this report. So this report or this is MD05 is going to be a static. It is going to remain static. It will not change very frequently. What does it mean? The system creates MRP list during the planning run according to how you create the indicator. This list contains the planning result of the material. So this is only the result or final output of your last MRP run. This is the output of your last MRP run. Okay, guys, please ensure what we are trying to say over here. So here in MRP list, you can see when your last MRP run happens, Okay, and what was the situation at the time? After that, lot many things have been changed. Okay, those will not get reflected over here. So this is become your static screen, and this is become your dynamic screen. Okay, MD04, MD04 is your dynamic, and MD05 is your static screen. Are you clear with one man of the major difference? Okay, now when yes. MD05 will get update, when your MD05 will get update. Whenever you are going to take MRP run, it will get update. Okay. Now let me show you. Suppose I'm going to take MRP run. Okay, let me take MRP run for this material. Okay, for this material, I'm taking MRP run planning mode 3. I will done it. Okay, I have taken MRP run. I'll go back. Okay. Now I'm in MD04. If you go back once again because there is no refresh button. Okay. Okay. Enter, enter. Now you can see stock, safety stock is updated. Demand is also updated. Can you see? And you can see the last MRP run is given today's time and date. Okay. Clear? Everybody? Yes. Yes, sir. It's called as a static. After your last MRP run only, it will get update. This is the difference between your MD04 and MD05. Okay. Now in MD04, we say it's a dynamic. It's getting updated every time. So here is the refresh button available. But in case of your MD05, there is no refresh button as such. In your MD04, we can see there is a time available which is continuously moving. If I refresh now, it's 6.8. If you refresh, it becomes 6.11. What is current time going on on your server? Same time will get updated over here. And in case of this, there is no refresh button available. So it will show you when your last MRP run happens and it will not get updated until and unless you take next MRP run. Okay. So guys, are we clear with MD04 and MD05? This could be your interview question. Looks like it's very simple. But yes, people will ask you the question, what is the difference between MD04 and MD05? Why MD05 is called as your dynamic screen? Okay, MD04 is called as a dynamic. And why MD05 is called as a static screen? Okay. You must be able to answer these two, three differences. Okay. Are we clear with these two things? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So this slide can yes, be much uh, useful for you. MD04 is the dynamic list. MRP is going to be your constant or it is going to be your uh, static screen. It will have this stock changes immediately. It will not change anything unless until there is a MRP run. It will refresh. It will not refresh. Okay. These are the basic difference between them. Okay.